Hey everyone, welcome back to CSICO. This is part 3 of our SAP Fiori tutorial series. In the previous videos, we created our first UEFI app, added a header and footer. And now, we will create a basic login page with the username and password fields along with a login button. First of all, let's clean our old code by removing this text, icon text tag first and let's create a content here. And inside this, we'll create a content tag. And let's close this tag. Now we are going to use a VBOX control to align our form elements vertically. Inside this we will add a sample form which will make the structure responsive. Now we are going to add a title for this form. Let the title be login form or login. and make the form as editable then we will declare the layout as grid layout import the structure of this simple form by adding a attribute xmlns form yeah this one layout form and let's close this one and also add a closing form tag And that's it the structure of this form and inside this we are going to add a label insert and a button so let's try adding label first before that let's fix this error by generating the ID for every tag and let's see the output here now. you can see that a form is created with the title login and now downside of this login we are going to add our input button and labels let's start with the label by adding label and text is equal to username and close this next we will add a input box by using the input tag and after adding our xmlns we will add a placeholder also and which will be uh, enter your username add one more label and input box for password fix this error by generating id for every tag our buttons and labels are ready now let's go and check the output as you can see we got a form with username and password field now let's create one more button here to login and let's go here and create a button by using the tag button and text is equal to login text is done now let's add type equal to emphasized which will make the button into a blue color and make the button different from the usual button then add the function which need to be called when clicking on this button by using the attribute press 
and let the function name be alert button so when the user clicks on this button the data which is transferred from the username and password field will be showed as an alert generate a id for this button and let's go and check the output As you can see, we got two input boxes along with a button, which is login button. And the structure is not nice. We will structure this first and then we will go to the functional part of this button. For styling this form, we will use an external st style sheet by going to the index.html part and adding a link tag just before the closing of head tag. here we are going to add a link tag link href equal to the link of the style sheet file that is css slash style dot css and close this one uh, before that we should mention the relation as style sheet the link is done now and we will go to css folder and instead inside that there will be style.css just open that and we will declare our style here let's remove this comment section and add a style before that we need to create a add a class attribute inside the uh, form here we will create a class attribute and let the class be custom form then go to this style sheet and declare the style of that custom form here we are using dot in, in front of custom form because we are selecting the tag by class if we were selecting the tag by uh, id then we would have used hash now let's center the form tag by using display flex then justify content sender and align item sender so this will basically display the form tag in the middle of that page and now let's see the output uh, it's not vertically centered so let's center this by vertically by adding one more attribute in the form tag before that let's move this class to oh, yeah this inside this v box and the contents inside the v box will be displayed on the center and let's try checking let's go and check here uh, it's still same so let's try with the attribute only the attribute is nothing but fit content and whose value is true and save this and go check the output yes we got our form tag placed on the sender next we are going to do the functional part of this program and for that we will go to the home home controller and inside this we will uh, declare the definition part of the function which we uh, called on the button here we will type alert button that is the function name which we have already declared on the button the syntax is function name full colon function bracket open close then curly braces open close and inside this we are going to write the statements of this function and we the first thing we are going to get is the value of username by using this statement let username equal to this dot get view of by id we are getting the value by id of that input box and in dot get value of and inside the by id we are going to mention the id of the username and if you go here you can see the id of the username 
that is input id equal to this one and yep this one we'll copy this one and go to our home controller uh, let's rename this one that's better okay now we we will use this id this new id and paste the first id here input 1 and copy this the same line and paste it there here we are going to get the password so change the variable name to password and by id input 2 which will fetch the data from the second input box then alert these values by using the alert button sorry alert function and inside the alert function we will declare username so this username will be printed uh, as it is and the second username that means that's a variable and the value of that variable will be displayed then again let's print the password in on, on the next line for printing it on next line we will use slash n and password and this one will be printed as it is then the password the variable the value of the variable will be printed here save this and let's go to the output here comes the output window now let's fill this up and type some random password then click on login oops it's not working let's try what's the error or why the error is there why it is not working let's cross check this one alert button and the function name is same now go to the controller and check whether there is some error or not yes this is the reason for that error actually we have used this lowercase v instead of uppercase v let's change it to uppercase v and save this and let's check the output let's type something here as genoi and something as password and click on login yes here comes the output but the thing is the password field it is showing uh, the value which we have entered but we need to replace the values with dot or asterisk so we will declare a type here as password the p should be in uppercase and reload this output now try checking the password field again whether it is showing the value or not yes it is showing dots and try clicking on login now and the password is showing and that's it you have successfully created a basic login page with username and password fields in sap fury you have also learned how to capture user input and handle button events in the next video we will explore more advanced features to further enhance our app if you enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tutorials thanks for watching and i will see you in the part 4